Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick look and a review to the latest build of Windows 10 Fall Creators Update. Uh, notice the return of the watermark on the bottom right. So This is build 16296. It was released yesterday Friday. So of course the uh, watermark tells us that well we're not there yet. And, uh, but we're soon to be there. So third build this week and um, the install process went really well. Um, two times maybe to be noted because yesterday I timed two separate things. The initialization download phase which took about two hours and a half on this computer. But the install itself, I timed the install, you know, the, the moment where you click that restart button where it really and truly installs the build and I timed it at um, on this machine a 32 minute install exactly from restart to the moment that I was at the um, lock screen uh, 32 minutes so um, the real install time isn't that long and um, it's really the initialization down and all of that that's extremely long and it's interesting because I am amazed at the very wide difference of people install. Some people report that the whole thing is very quick. Others, like me, report that it's quite long. So it's kind of interesting. And um, of course, depending on the power of your computer, depending on, you know, do you have an SSD drive or a regular hard drive, um, the age of the system, the computer you're using, all of that, of course, plays a role in here. I'd be curious to see the same install on a very, very recent PC that's very, very, has a lot of performance, um, how fast it could go. So, uh, but, you know, the important part of the install, and that, that's what I want to stress out because Microsoft kind of tells us that's what they want us to see, is that little 30 minute, 45 minute time that it installs, not the initialization phase and everything because you can still continue using your PC. So the install went well, had no issues, nothing at all that happened. Um, very, very clean and a very, very good install. No green screens, nothing. And of course, we were at some point in the um, lock screen. So no new features in here, for those wondering. Absolutely nothing. Uh, just a few bug fixes. They fixed a few things here and there. Hopefully, if you have an issue with something on your PC, maybe this build had fixed it. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, of course, if you have installed this, if you had some issues, anything, let us know how it goes for you and what you have as an issue. Don't forget, Feedback Hub is there for you to issue that uh, problem. So, you know, take the time to report any issues you might have with your build. So third build this week and uh, things are probably going to be um, as active next week uh, for sure so um, no glitches I've been using it about I used it about two hours yesterday evening used it about three hours this morning no glitches at all I've not seen anything that doesn't work right so uh, pretty uh, pretty cool apart from that um, of course in these builds because there's no new features I like to talk about something new that is coming to the Fall Creators Update that we can see. So um, I want to stress out that the bash, for those that want to use the bash command line, the Linux subsystem in Windows 10, changes in the Fall Creators Update before you had to go to the, um, you know, you had to activate the developer mode in your computer and do a tons of things when you wanted to have, um, you know, a, a bash command line and a Linux system. It was kind of complex to activate it. That's all over in the fall careers update. You'll be able to simply go to the store and find Linux subsystems for you to use. So you'll have Linux on Windows totally. And you see here it says get the apps. So um, this is going to be the distros that you uh, actually can have the subsystem, Linux subsystem um, working on. 
So here it says that I have OpenSUSE installed. Uh, you have SUSE Linux Enterprise Server and Ubuntu, which was the original um, you know, command line uh, for Windows subsystem for Linux. Once again, this is for more advanced users that usually will want to use the command line to, uh, for all sorts of reasons, either your uh, you know, system administrator, easier for you to actually do what you want through this subsystem for Linux. Uh, a developer of some sort that you need to test things and you are you know using Linux subsystem for testing out purposes uh, well all of that is within Windows now and it's within three different distros now so uh, open SUS Leap 42 SUS Linux Enterprise Server and Ubuntu more to come apparently as time goes by but um, it's easier now that you go through the store to install these uh, right now so no more you know tweaking the system and going into these weird menus to install this Linux subsystem it's now through the store and you have nothing else than just install it from there so that's the uh, easier updates now for anyone that wants to use this of course this is not mainstream new features a lot of people are looking at this and saying whoa okay this is not for me and it's not for probably the majority of people but I think enterprise users um, and some specific you know, developers might actually find it very, very cool to have this within Windows. And, uh, you know, it's, it's still amazing when you think about it that Microsoft Windows actually integrates a Linux subsystem because only, you know, a few years back, uh, I still remember Steve Ballmer at the head of uh, Microsoft saying that uh, Linux was a plague and that it would never, never partner with them. And uh, now we have Satya Nadella, which is a very different you know, CEO at Microsoft. And the openness of Microsoft with other systems is very, very nice. So no glitches, works fine, got no issues at all. It is, of course, a very stable build, which is good news if you think about the fact that we're a couple of weeks away from uh, the official release, about three weeks away from the official release of the Windows 10 Fall Careers update. Um, if you've installed it, used it, let me know. Do you have issues? Is it working fine? Um, let us know. It's always fun to have your feedback. Uh, personally here, absolutely no problems at all. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.